Okay, so this is going to be a training for generating leads when it comes to going after what we would call 1031 exchange people. Uh, and a 1031 exchange is obviously a tax code for individuals who are buying or selling property where they have the ability to uh, take their capital gains and not pay taxes by uh, acquiring a new property of like kind and of the same amount. And so uh, it's a, a great space for generating leads because you have something that's extremely motivated at the end of the day. They're highly, highly motivated because if they don't, then they pay a tremendous amount of taxes. And so uh, what we're doing in terms of where do we find these people? And the tactic is you can go onto LinkedIn and you can literally type in 1031, hit enter, and then it will pull back all these different results. And you can, and what I generally tell people is scroll down and focus on the ones where you might have a shared connection. If you see here, Frank Bush, Tanya Lively, John Philly, Leroy, Michael Finch. And the reason why is because then you can go on and see if they know this person. And it's a great opportunity for you to get in front of that person again and just say, hey, good to connect with you. Hey, you notice that da, 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 da. You know, do you know them? Sometimes the answer is no, I don't. I don't really know them that well. Or sometimes the answer is yes, I do. And then it's a warmer introduction. Hey, would you mind making an introduction? I'd like to try to, you know, uh, get to know this uh, person. Okay, so that's the first tactic that I would employ is try to focus on ones that you might see that there's a, a first or connection with them. Mm -hmm. um, then what you can do, because for a 1031 person, a lot of times what will happen is these are actually people that are affiliated with a title company. And so title companies are very open and very excited about having a working relationship with you. So to me, title companies are actually an untapped potential referral source for our particular space because I don't think many people actually work that field. And so for you to spend time going through and introducing yourself. So, um, so the first thing is you go to LinkedIn, you type in the 1031, you go through the process of trying to identify whether or not they might have a, a connection with them. And then when you contact them, so when you physically call that person, in this particular case, let's say it's Dana Sobrato, who's in Phoenix with National Exchange Title Holder 1031 Company. It sounds a little like this. Hi, Dana, this is Dave from Integrity Capital. We're a commercial finance company here in town. Do you have a minute? Okay. So same sort of architecture on the, the initial conversation. You know, I was just taking a look at your prof link, LinkedIn profile just on there. Notice you focus on this. Do you have a minute? I, you know, I think there might be an opportunity for us to potentially do some referring back and forth. And so I wanted to just chat about that. We can learn a little bit more about what you focus on, right? So the, what that does, again, it establishes the quick getting a lot of the rebuttals out of the way. You get specific in that, hey, I was just looking at your LinkedIn profile and noticing da, 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 mm -hmm. okay, something specific. And that specific thing could be something they accomplished, something about it that's unique, something that you, there might be a connection point there. Hey, I noticed you serve at, you know, da-da-da-da charity. 
Um, and so that that's what you try to do to create the the instant you know connection, so to speak. Then uh, in that conversation, you're just going to do the same thing we do on everyone, which is gathering information to the extent that you can. So, you know, what do you focus on? How much do you run into opportunities? Um, you know, what's typically an ideal client for you? Generally speaking, who are you looking for in order for me to keep my eyes peeled? How do you get your business? How do typically people find you? Um, you know, what's your process or methodology for generating, you know, opportunities? How's the market going right now in 1031s? You know, seeing it's picking up or slowing down. Um, you know, so you just start walking through gathering information and then you're going eventually to some level of CPIG on that first conversation. You know, who, who's an ideal client for you? What's the ideal situation for you? What I try to do in a lot of instances is, and it's, it's mutually beneficial, I think, in all fronts, I try to find out how do you find your business? You know, where do you go? Who's your feeders that feed you business? So I, it helps me to understand that because then once they say something in particular, yeah, we get a lot of stuff from CPAs. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. So maybe a CPA would be a good fit. So you're trying to get curious to gather that information per se. Um, and then once you're done, then obviously we go through the same methodology of closing it up with a ask. Hey, do you think this is something that would be of interest to you? And maybe you have some time to grab a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. So if you get the sense that there's legitimacy to that conversation or relationship, then I, yeah, I think that's an, that's an easy ask. Um, and I'm pretty convinced that the majority of these people that you're going to talk to, with the exception of maybe a few, are going to be very open to the conversation. So it's, so do you have questions about that? I know that's a lot to take in, but that's to me a really good way to go about it. Yeah. No, I, I think that's great. Um, that's how I'm going to attack it. It's okay. LinkedIn search. Go find those mutual relationships or even the name of the company they work for. Yep. And you can call in there and ask for them. Yep. Correct. Way, just exactly. Kind of get yeah. In there. Yeah, because you have a physical name now. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's going to be a good approach. I think I'm going to try. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that's, that's, you know, going after 1031 exchange companies, which quite honestly, I think is a gold mine because you just, you have people coming through there all the time that have to do 1031 and they're very connected in that world with motivated people. So, so that is lead generation for 1031s for integrity capital.